Well hello, this is another one of my garden videos. If you like it, would you please click share, like or subscribe. And thank you very much in advance for watching. Ah, hi there gardeners, my name's Del. And this is going to be a short video on how I repot and pot up um, canners. I only keep two sorts. I don't know the names of them, I don't care, but I keep them for the foliage entirely. One's a green and yellow striped one, which is the one I'm going to demonstrate with today. And the other one is a purple veined one, which is beautiful. And I don't go for the flowers. If the flowers come along, that's great. I just do it, really, for the foliage. I really want the foliage. So, here we go. <coughs> oh, got a bit of gout today. Yep. <coughs> This is the one I'm going to demonstrate for you, uh, with for you. Now as you can see it looks pretty knackered actually. And what I will do towards the end of this video, um, I'll just give you a few tips on, the, on cultivation. Now you must remember this is the way I do it and it works for me. It may not be okay for you. But here in Thailand, in my garden, it works perfectly. So you must remember that. Uh, this is the way I do it. Many professionals will probably say no. Each to their own, eh? It works for me. First things, don't be shy, pull it out just like that. See, that's what we have. Now, these these pots, these pots here, um, I call them aqua pots. All they are really is a, a flower pot with a fancy rim, plastic, of course, and no drainage holes in. and the water lilies are grown in those the same. Now I grow the cannas in these. You might ask yourself, what, grow cannas in water? Yes, here in Thailand, what first we put me, put me on to it is um, I saw them growing in ditches, all in the slime and the mud and the ooze along the side of the ditches, just where the water touches the edge, you know. So, marginal, I grow them as a marginal plant, but I grow them in pots because it, the soil there is absolute rubbish it's sand and grit and chists and stones and builders rubble and everything and what I find is that I've had them in the ground and they they don't overwinter they die back because the, the, in the winter here it's the um, dry season and it gets it's not hot so much in fact the temperature is quite pleasant but it's very very dry and you can't forever keep water in the garden every day. It's, it's, you're fighting nature and it doesn't work. So the things die back. If they're kept in aqua pots, topped up with water, they last year round and flower pretty much year round. Okay, yeah. what we don't want to do is mess around. You know, you don't want to mess around. Look for a nice bit of new, half decent growth. There's one there. So first thing I do, I think you can see this, is chop that right through there like that. There. You can see the roots around the edge of the pot. See the roots go around the edge and the, the, the middle is virtually untouched. So I shall use that again. See, what? Use it again? Yeah. Well this is clay. This is alluvial clay taken from a um, some river. Bang, Bang Pekong River I think just, just to the north of us. And uh, uh, we got coffee. He's going to join us. <laughs> and uh, I, I think it comes from there. A lot of it comes from there. So right, knife. That looks nice. Cut it just like you would a birthday cake or Christmas cake. There's one there. See. I haven't done that one very well actually, that's a bit, bit remiss of me, but you, you get the idea. Um, yeah. Now that can be discarded. But I will keep the clay. Because I'm, as they say in Thailand, or in Thai rather, I'm kiniao, which means I'm tight. <laughs> it's not that, I just, I just don't like waste. I, you know, shouldn't be any waste. Now these, uh, I shan't bother with that one either. 
Yeah. I've selected a nice new pot for demonstration purposes. <laughs> you see, see this one's got a load of crud on it. What, what happens is it's, it's a lime build-up. I think it's a lime build-up anyway. This, um, the ridiculous thing is that some of the ground here is limey and the rainwater is so polluted and so acid it's unreal. And actually the rainwater actually, actually dissolves um, the mortar and concrete. Right, now then. Shall I, shan't I? Yes, is the answer to that. I shall put that old piece back in. <coughs> That's just right. Let's just position that's around there like that. Because I've already got the shape to go around the edge. Where I took them out, they've already got the curve of the previous pot. <coughs> oh, I'm so pop those in there. Can you see that okay? Yeah. Now the gaps. We shall fill in with this clay. Oh, oh it is hot. No, this is the stuff. Alluvial clay. A bit like potter's clay really. You know, it's good. It's good. So all we do is just stuff that in the void. No need to be fussy with it. I just think, I, th I think many people become too fussy with their plants and their gardens. You should give it a little bit of um, free reign, a bit of poetic license, so it get on with what it wants to do. I don't mean run right with weeds or anything, but you know. Don't be too quick to sort of dig something up or cut it or whatever. So there we are. Now in a minute, now we top that up with water. Right, that's that done. You can see, can you see that okay? Right. Gosh, I'm going to some water. Wash my hands briefly in water. This clay is really gooey. We've got the basics over what we, uh, how to actually divide and uh, repot the canners. Um, I'll just describe briefly what I do to keep them going. In other words, a little bit of cultivation tips here, which may help. Now then, <coughs> I used to grow canners in my garden in Devon in, in England. Um, temperate region, I used to leave them outside all the time, never dig, dug them up, never covered the crowns during the winters, not that we got a lot of frost because the southwest of England is really quite mild. It's not subtropical but it's quite mild but you can get severe, very severe northeasterly winds. Um, and they, they grew fine I used to, and they weren't in the sun, I used to keep them in semi-shade or they'd get sun maybe for three or four hours or sometimes five hours in the height of summer and then they get a bit of, bit of dappled shade or something like that. So that's it and here and uh, over fine. Now here I keep them facing northeast. During the winter or during the dry season they virtually have no sun whatsoever. Nothing. Oh, maybe an hour or two in the morning, just about it, just the odd hour or two. Right, now they, they bloom all year round in pots. This is what I feed them on. I'll give it, I don't know if that's going to come into focus properly. I'll keep putting it in. Okay, can you see that okay? Now these are uh, fertiliser tablets for lotus and water lilies and the um, the NPK is, I think, okay, well, I can say it off my hand, by heart actually, 92320. That's the NPK. Now, I want foliage, and of course, the, the nitrogen level is only 9 on this, which is quite low because, it wants to, because it's for lilies and they want to encourage flowers. 
but it does fine. I don't want them too leggy because you get a bit of wind whips around the, whips around the side of the house and the things go over then you got sticking bamboos in and they look unsightly so I don't like that. So I give these once every probably about four times a year every three months but in in the meantime I'd give them a standard quick release pellet of 16 16 16. I just let it float on top of the water and I give that usually I, I do the whole garden all the potted plants between 7 and 14 days it's when I, when I remember or when the uh, weather permits so there we are that's it that's all I can tell you about them you know it works for me well the next video I do will probably be on the Aurigellias which are these things bromeliads of course um, well this is one of my bromeliad trees and they really really are effective and, it, and in a later video I'll be showing you how to make one of these. They're very simple and very easy to make. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video and enjoy your gardening. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye from Dell.